Good morning, guys. Welcome to our assembly. And just like our assembly on Monday, we've been talking about feelings. And today we're going to talk about a different feeling, all to do with our mental health and well-being global goal. So let's get cracking, shall we? Let's have a look. Where are we? Here we go. Right. We're going to talk about our good health and well-being. And we're going to uh, have a think about more than 300. So what am I thinking of with more than 300? We're talking about feelings, remember. Okay, that's really, really important. We're talking about feelings. More than 300 something. So stop the video. Tell your teacher, tell your adult what you think I'm thinking of. Which feeling do you think this might be? And I'll give you another clue. It's in a book. Okay, it's in a book. What do you think I'm talking about? Have a guess. Well, it's actually the number of times that the word love is used in the Bible. Number of times the word love is used in the Bible. Okay, so more than 300 times, and it can be found in all other religious books. Okay, it's really, really important. So, what I want you to do is I want you to have a think about people that you love. So, I'm going to give you an example. I'm going to tell you that I love my children. I'm going to tell you that I love my mum and dad. Okay? Two different examples. People that I love. Okay? So who can you talk about? I'm going to tell you I, I love my friends as well. That's really important too. So friends, family, who do you love? Might be pets. Might be your teacher. I don't know. Because we can love people in different ways. And that's really, really important. OK, so how our parents feel about us is different to the way that we feel about our parents and how we love other members of our family is different to the way that we love our, our friends. So have a think. Who do you love to stop the video? Tell your teacher. OK, and lots of ideas. Right. Let's have a look. Now, this is our local area. If we look really closely. There's where we are now. There's Winchin Primary School. And if I poke just there, I'm just poking Mr. Bounds in the back of the head okay, with the cursor on the mouse. And there we've got the playground. And now we've got the area around. And there's the road leading down to Pickmere. And there's the road leading off to other parts of Winchin and uh, Northwich. OK, so of the people that you've just talked about, how many people live in that local area? How many people live in Winchin? Okay, have a think. Tell your teacher. So now let's have a look at the next area. How many people of the people that you've listed that you love live there? So you can see where we are. We're on the map with that red dot. That's us. Okay, but how many people live in Scotland? How many people live in Ireland? How many people live in the south of England or the east of England? How many people that you love live in Wales? OK, so we've got people that we love in the local area. We've got people that we love a bit further away. We might have friends or relatives in other parts of the UK. Now, this is a bit of a more difficult map. This is a map of the world. And this map of the world, I think, is really interesting because the flags, each flag shows somebody who has visited and had a look at our school website. So for each flag, there have been at least one person who's come and had a look at our school website. So you can see that people as far away as Brazil, Canada, the USA, China, Australia, New Zealand. So people right the way around the world have had a look at our school website. Now, you might love people who live in some of these other countries. You might know somebody, you might have a family member or a friend who lives in South America somewhere. It might be some of our friends in Kenya, and I think when Mrs. P. Jones is watching this with her class, she will absolutely say that she's got friends in Kenya who she could definitely say that she loves. I've got friends right the way down here in New Zealand who I don't see very often, but I talk to, and I can definitely say I love. So who have you got that you can say that you love? Okay. Now, we've got love spread out around the world. And we're not talking about having a boyfriend or having a girlfriend or anything silly like that. 
but we're talking about actually showing love for other people. And we can spread that love right the way around the world. So let's have a look at some words that mean the same as love. Here we go. Adoration, liking, strong, and I think that one's supposed to link strong affection, tenderness, passion, devotion, kindness, and fondness. So there we've got all those really positive words that link to love, okay, that mean the same thing. And they mean it in slightly different ways. Let's have a look at another list of words. Ill will, hate, unpleasantness, unkindness, dislike. So have a think about those lists of words. How does it make you feel hearing words like hate, dislike, unkindness? Which list do you prefer? Is it this one? With affection and kindness and fondness and liking and tenderness? Is it this one? Ill will, hate. So put your hand up if you like that one most. Put your hand up if you like that one most. And I think if we ask most people around the world, they'd say they like this list with all the good words, the positive words about love. And this list, I don't think people would like that. So now have a think about if we were talking about Jesus and we were to ask a Christian, which list would Jesus choose? Which list would God want us to choose? And it's actually, that's really important because that's people's beliefs, but it doesn't actually matter so long as we believe those in our hearts as well. So it matters very, very much to a Christian. But if you're not a Christian, that's okay. It's about believing that in your heart, which one of those is the best list. And I think it's definitely that one. And I th I'm sure that you do as well. So the, the word love is used in the Bible so many times because it's important for the whole world. And it's important for everybody's good health and well-being. So have a think for me for a minute. OK, um, let's go back to our meet. There we go. We can all help the world to have more love. Each day we can have the opportunity to show love to those around us, not by giving them a hug or by saying, I love you. You don't need to do that. You can do it by showing your kindness, by showing your affection. So Christians believe that God loves everyone very, very much. And they believe that God wants this love to spread out to the world through our, our words and through our actions. So have a think now. What can you do? to show love for everybody. It might be there's somebody you want to give a hug to. And make sure that you're socially distancing properly so it's a hug with somebody in your family, somebody in the household that you live with, okay? Might be helping somebody at home or playing with somebody at school in your bubble, in your class. And sometimes our really, really small actions can have a massive, massive impact on somebody when they're carried out with love. So sit quietly for a moment, have a think about what you're going to do today to show love to other people and then share your ideas with your teacher. OK, and in our small way, we're helping solve problems in the world because we're making the world to be a better, happier place by showing some love. There you go, guys. There's our assembly for today. Have a lovely day. See you soon. Bye bye.